Imagine Earth as a cozy cabin in the woods. The atmosphere is our roof, protecting us from the harsh elements. One crucial part of this roof is the ozone layer, which blocks most of the sun's harmful UV radiation. But what about something much bigger than our sun? Every million years or so, a massive star within our cosmic neighborhood reaches the end of its life in a fiery spectacle known as a supernova. Imagine our sun, but a billion times brighter, exploding in a colossal burst of energy. This stellar detonation spews out a shockwave of radiation, including lethal gamma rays and cosmic rays, that can travel vast distances. So, if a supernova were to go off nearby, bombarding Earth with this radiation, wouldn't that be curtains for life as we know it? Scientists have even theorized that supernovae might be to blame for some of the mass extinctions that have punctuated Earth's history. The idea is certainly unsettling. But new research published in the journal Nature Communications Earth and Environment offers a glimmer of hope. It turns out, Earth's atmosphere is a much tougher shield than we previously thought. Well, it's not exactly a little bit of air. Our atmosphere is a complex system with several layers, each playing a crucial role. The one we're most interested in today is the ozone layer, a region in the stratosphere that acts like a giant sunscreen, absorbing most of the harmful ultraviolet, UV, radiation coming from the sun. But how effective would this ozone layer be against the much more intense radiation from a nearby supernova? That's the question the researchers in this new study set out to answer. Not exactly. Building a space shield might be a bit out of our current technological reach. Instead, the researchers used powerful computer models to simulate a nearby supernova event. They cranked up the radiation levels in the model to mimic what Earth would experience if a giant star exploded within 100 parsecs, or about 326 light years away. That's a good point. Modeling complex natural systems always has limitations. But the beauty of this study is that it incorporates the latest scientific understanding of atmospheric chemistry and circulation. The model takes into account factors like how different types of radiation interact with air molecules and how air masses move around the globe. Well, here's the surprising part. The ozone depletion caused by the simulated supernova was significant, but not catastrophic. The maximum decrease in ozone concentration was around 10%, which is roughly equivalent to the damage we're already inflicting on the ozone layer with human activities like pollution. The ozone layer, while not invincible, seems to be more resilient than previously thought. It's constantly being created and destroyed through natural chemical reactions and it appears to have the capacity to recover from a short-term bombardment of extra radiation. The study also looked at how a supernova would impact a young Earth with a less oxygenated atmosphere, like the one that existed during the Precambrian era before the explosion of life forms. They simulated an atmosphere with only 2% oxygen, which is thought to be representative of that period. The results were interesting. While there was definitely some ozone depletion in this scenario, it wasn't enough to be a major extinction event. The ozone loss was most pronounced at mid-latitudes, around 10 to 25 percent, but significantly lower in the tropics. Interestingly, at the poles, the extra radiation from the supernova could have even led to a slight increase in ozone levels. It all boils down to the complex dance of chemicals in the atmosphere. Ozone is constantly being formed and broken down by various processes. The high-energy radiation from a supernova can disrupt this balance, but in some cases, it can also trigger reactions that lead to the creation of new ozone molecules. The study suggests that's likely the case. The researchers conclude that the changes in ozone concentration wouldn't have had a major impact on the emerging biosphere. However, it's important to remember that this study focuses on the biosphere as a whole, not individual organisms. The increased radiation from a supernova could still be harmful to some life forms, especially those that were particularly sensitive to UV radiation. While the overall biosphere might survive a nearby supernova relatively unscathed, 
some species could be more vulnerable. The study also acknowledges that it doesn't consider the direct health risks to humans and other animals from exposure to elevated ionizing radiation. The good news is that a nearby supernova is unlikely to trigger another mass extinction event. Our planet's atmosphere and geomagnetic field, which deflects some charged particles from the sun and supernovae, appear to be effective in shielding the biosphere from the worst effects of these cosmic blasts. So, the next time you gaze up at the night sky and wonder about the potential dangers lurking amongst the stars, remember this, Earth is a tougher cookie than we might think. While a supernova might mess with the climate and give some creatures a cosmic sunburn, it's unlikely to be the end of the show. This is the Brain Maze, signing off.